Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. It's been a hot minute since I uploaded a tutorial last. Um, basically, I've just been living my life and having fun on the weekends, which is when I normally film, so apologies. Um, I'm back to business and I thought it would be most appropriate to upload a fall smoky eye or a different take on one. I already uploaded one, which I'll leave linked down below or popping up here on the screen or at the end of the video. I don't know which way to point for the end, but you get it. Um, and so this is obviously got green, it's got yellow, it's got some taupey bronze in it. So if you're interested, then please keep watching. But before we do that, I need to give my shout outs. I wanted to shout out D Loves Makeup, who is always commenting on my YouTube videos and Instagram and things like that. So thank you so much for the love. And I also want to shout out Victoria Edwards. Your comment was really sweet. Um, so thank you so much for the support, you guys. Don't forget, if you comment on this video, I will probably shout you out in the next one. And yeah, that's about it. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this look, also all one palette here, um, then just keep watching. But before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Okay, you guys, the palette today I'm using, I am really excited about. This is the Fenty Cadet or 7 Cadet palette, which is the perfect mini fall palette. I mean, look at the colors. Look at the colors. You have your mustard yellow, you have your light brown, you have your taupey brown, and you have your green, your like emerald green, and you got some shimmers. So I'm using this palette today and I'm very excited. So I'm thinking of doing like just a fall kind of smoky eye, focusing mostly on the mattes. The first shade I'm picking up is this yellow one. I'm using a Sigma Taper Blending E35 and the shade is She Salute. All right, so I am just going to work this from outer corner to inner corner. This, I kind of want this to be like our outermost color, our most diffused color, does that make sense? So basically blend it around everywhere in your crease. We want this to be nice and smoky, so don't be afraid to whip it out towards the brow. The next shade I'm picking up is this top color in the palette. This is Take Cover. This is that kind of, let's say, neutral toned slash cool toned brown. And kind of the same idea, but I'm going to keep it a little lower so we get that nice smoky effect. So I'm really going to build this color up in the crease and then we'll work on blending it up and out. Okay, so once we get that shade laid down, I'm gonna go back in with the yellow and just blend the two colors together a little bit better. This is also going to help to add in a little bit more of that yellow because a lot of times when you blend over such a light color with a, um, a brown, it'll get lost in translation. So for the part I'm most excited about, we'll be using Glamo Camo, which is this dark green color up here. And I am going to just pick it up. This is an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I'm picking it up on one side of the brush and I'm going to just really lightly pack it onto my lid. I want to do this gently because I don't want to have any fallout on my face since that's already done. And baking is always an option for you if you feel like you are going to have a lot of fallout. However, for me and my dry skin, it just doesn't do it for me. And then so I don't lose control of this color, I'm taking a really small brush and I'm going to start by very slowly just blending out the edges of that shade. No one wants to lose control of a dark green eyeshadow, trust me. Look at that, already working. 
And if you do get any fallout, just press your brush down that you used to set your under eye and flick it away. Gone. Not even a problem. So now what we're gonna do is take, I packed on a little bit more of that green shade to my lid. I'm picking up just a little bit of green on a clean blending brush and I'm going to work on bringing this green up a little higher and just diffusing my crease a little more. And with shades like this, it's really important to be patient because a lot of times matte blues and greens don't have the best like stick like they're too powdery and not super buttery like other shades um so take your time with this because as you can see a lot of it gets taken off my lid for me to put it back on to get taken off to put it back on so it's a lot of packing blending packing blending so you do have to be patient make sure you can give yourself some time for these colorful smoky eyes so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit more of my brown taupey shade and just kind of go over the edges here and try and diffuse my dark green up and out a little bit more and just make it blend a little more seamlessly. So as you can see, I'm not going onto my lid, I'm just blending up out here. And then kind of the same idea, I'm gonna pick up my yellow shade again and just really lightly hit the very outer edges of that brown and I look crazy right now but this will look good once it's done okay so now that we have that we have our dark base for our shimmer shade I'm using the coppery brown out of the palette which is this shade right here and that is good cookie so I'm just using my finger and I'm going to slowly just kind of brush this over my lid, over that dark color. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is our highlights. We are using this shade here out of the palette. That is Money Mission. And I am going to be placing this in my inner corner here, just for a little pop of something. And the mascara, sorry, I'm out of focus. The mascara I'm using today is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. So while I'm waiting to put this lash on, I'm gonna get started on my lower lash line. I am going to be using the yellow from the palette to kind of act as my transition shade for my lower lash line. I'm going to be applying this everywhere from inner corner all the way to outer corner. So the next shade we're picking up is our brown transitioning shade. We're going to pack that on, but we're going to keep it tighter to the lash line. And last but not least, we're picking up our gorgeous dark green. We're going to start at the inner corner, or I'm sorry, the outer corner, and we're going to run that on our lash line. So then we're gonna go back in and buff it out a little bit with that light brown. And then basically the name of the game is you're just gonna be reapplying until you're happy with how smoky your lower lash line is. For my lower lash line eyeliner, I'm using this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Demolition. And this is just a 
really dark brown. I think like a fiery or like a burnt orange would look really good. So would nude, so would black. Just pick whatever you have, whatever you're feeling. I'm just gonna go with dark brown because I don't necessarily want black because it's the only thing black in this look are my lashes. And I think the dark brown is just a really nice um, contrast, especially if you have like, well, literally any other color eye. It'll really make your brown eyes pop. It'll make blue, green, hazel eyes pop. Whatever you have, brown is like the answer, if not black. I'm also going to make sure that I tight line with that. So that basically just means getting it up underneath your lashes on your upper line. And I'm also bringing it in my inner corner as well for a little bit more definition. And then the last step on the eyes is just a little bit of lower lash line mascara. So I'm using the same mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm kind of like to get most of it off of the brush to be honest with you because I don't like that clumpy lower lash line look and my lower lashes are actually pretty long so it makes it look just a little more bold than I want it to. All right, you guys, so here is the finished eye look. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I chose to leave out the brow bone highlight just because like, I don't know, wasn't wasn't feeling it today. Um, I also in fall, I tend to leave out like my cheekbone highlight. I don't have any highlight on my cheeks. My only highlight is my inner corner of my eyes and the center of my nose. <laughs> and I really like the way that looks. So, let me know what you guys think. Let me know down in the comments. Tell me your thoughts. Give me the vibes. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.